It's hot in Topeka. Hello, everybody. It's actually not that hot because it's 50 degrees right now. But we are looking towards summer, and that's why you're here. For neurodivergent and genderqueer people alike, summer can be a really rough time. I, for one, cannot handle the heat at all, and the limits of summer fashion are not easy on gender dysphoria. And like myself, you may have found yourself looking for summer crochet patterns only to find just a lot of like frilly, boho, or I don't know, just a lot of stuff that's not your style. So disclaimer, just real quick before we get into it. We assign gender to clothing. That is just a fact of life. Um, and in a perfect world, anybody could wear whatever they want. So it can be true that both clothes are genderless and we assign gender meaning to them, if that makes sense. So while, yes, you can technically wear whatever you want and dress it in an androgynous way or a genderless kind of way, these patterns just fit my personal idea of androgynous summer, of a genderless summer. So take that as you will. Before I get too lost in the nonsense, let's just look at these patterns. We are going to start with tops because that's the biggest category. Good job, tops. This is kind of just like a show and tell of all the patterns I want to make this summer. Okay, so in the tops category, I have a couple of vests. This one is the Button Closure Crochet Lace Crop Top Pattern by Gabrielle Tyree Studio on Etsy. And you're gonna see a lot of mesh in this video because mesh is number one, very gender neutral, and two, very good for summer. This looks like it works up super, super quick. And the other vest I have on here is a little more complicated. It's actually a lot more complicated. <laughs> but this is the Swish Men's Vest Free Crochet Pattern. So it is free though, by Kim Guzman, Guzman on crochetkim.com. Look at how happy this guy is. Next category is tanks. This category I feel like is usually super feminine. So it was kind of hard to find more androgynous tank top styles. This first one is called the Treble Maker Top, which is super cute. It's by Crochet treat. I'm gonna say a lot of words wrong. Not too feminine, not too masculine, tank top cut. I'm looking at their Ko-Fi right now, actually, and this person has a few more patterns that would be great for summer, like this cropped button-up shirt, and they have this other mesh tank that I think would be really cute, too. This next tank is the Scrappy and Unique Crochet Top by Tiger's Eye Handmade. Um, which has a little more of a feminine cut, but it's so simple that I feel like you could do a lot with it. Just a basic tank top. Also a super simple tank pattern is this men's pinstripe and brick mesh tank top. And I'm sure you can make this any length, but I do love the longer kind of tunic style, which would be really fun for the beach or for layering on top of like a collared shirt. I really wanna wear this with like a, a printed Hawaiian shirt with the collar peeking over and like some cargo shorts. <laughs> I don't know why that's the vision right now, but that, that's how I would want to wear this. This next tank is probably the most complicated tank and might be too late to make this one for summer unless you work super fast. It's the Day Off Tank by Tiny Couch Crochet. And I have not tried Tunisian Crochet yet. I have Tony's Handbook, but I haven't dared to try it yet. But if you can pull it off, this would be a super cute closet staple. All right, the last tank on the list is the Brit Lynn Top by the Crochet Fairy Shop. This one's a little more stylized, a little more trendy. You're gonna tell on this list that I love a crop moment for any gender. It has a mesh back, corset construction on the side so you can make it as loose or tight as you want. Super cute design 
for what looks like a super simple construction method. I just feel like you can do a lot with this and I feel like I'll definitely be making this this summer. I think I just have two short sleeve tops. This one is the Sorbedo, Sorbedo Polo by Cosmic Spring Crafts. And I love the idea of a, a little cropped, it doesn't even have to be cropped, but like a little cotton yarn polo in these fun, like 80s colors. I have a shirt kind of like this um, and I would definitely wear this. I mean, I would wear all of these. That's why I made this video. <laughs> Back to the more simple designs. I have the Davao top crochet pattern on the crocheting.com and it's literally a t-shirt, but it has this fun, like unfinished distressed detail at the hem that I think is super fun for like a street style summer look. All right, the last category in the tops is uh, like button ups or second layers. And we are kicking it off with this quick lattice cardigan shrug thing by Kathy's Crochet Closet. Yeah, just a simple little layer to add a little bit of interest and a homemade feel to tanks or even just over nothing this summer. <laughs> Along similar lines, I also have this kind of short sleeve shrug pullover situation, but in a different style. So this is more similar to um, those hexagon cardigans that everyone's making right now. Just gives a little bit of a different vibe. Oh, this one is um, by Annie's Craft Store. These next two are pretty similar as well, but if I could wear one of these just in a different style every day of summer, I definitely would. This is like my clothing item that I am really obsessed with right now. So this is the Khaled shirt by Jessica Tsung. I love the alternating of the tighter, it looks like a double crochet and more of a mesh stitch. It's super fun. This pattern is on Ravelry, and I think this is my favorite top design-wise in this collection. And then this one is very similar, but it uses more of a granny square stitch. This is the Abuela shirt crochet pattern by MM Making. Also so cute. Get a little like thin cotton yarn and just like lounge in the garden or on a boat. This is very boat if you get like some wide white pants uh, with this top and like a wide brim hat and like a little beverage of some sort, a little lemonade. Summer goals. There are so many different kinds of boleros out there, which I think are a super cute accessory transitioning from spring to summer or summer to fall. Because I don't know about you, but I... One, I cannot stand the heat of outside, and two, cannot stand the, like, icy cold air conditioning that's in most places. So I feel like a little shrug, bolero, just the sleeves, whatever you want to call it, is a really good staple for summer. I just picked this pattern from, I think this is Anne's Closet, Anna's Closet on Etsy. This is the ginger shrug, and you can find a lot of patterns, but I did just grab this one for the video. And last but not least in our tops category, it just looks so crazy. Like, it's so unique and I want to make this so bad. It's this cool, squarey grid cardigan by Knitting Memory Design. And first of all, I just love the color. But second of all, I have never seen anyone do this kind of mesh, like this upscaled Kind of mesh before and I really like it. If you can make this for the summer, everyone's gonna be so impressed. Okay, that is it for the tops and we are moving on to the bottoms. It's finally your turn. Instead of all the patterns linked individually below, um, there will be a link to this Pinterest board in case I need to add stuff. And also, there's a character limit on YouTube descriptions and it's kind of annoying to paste them all down there. So. The link will take you to Pinterest, to this board, and then you can click on what you want from there. I know crochet bottoms are much less popular than crochet tops, which makes sense. You do need a little more coverage down there, 
and they're not always that comfy, but I picked out some ones that I think would work. So this one is the Crochet Checkered Shorts Pattern by Crochet With Love Store on Etsy. I feel like checkers is another one of those just very gender neutral patterns. You can make these as long or as short as you want, and I think you can make them kind of as baggy as you want as well. And I personally love like the cinched waist with the baggy shorts. And I feel like these stitches are tight enough that you could just kind of wear your regular underwear underneath. And this next shorts pattern is actually by the same seller on Etsy. It's just their patchwork shorts pattern. So same design, just like a little bit of a different aesthetic style. Super cute. Lots of possibilities with the color blocking. Speaking of color blocking, this is just another color block shorts pattern. They call it the Crayola shorts pattern, which is super cute by JoJo's company on Etsy. If you want something a little more complicated, this is the men's crochet bead shorts pattern by Knitting Memory Designs. And this one has a little bit more of a vintage feel. Like I feel like I would pull this out of a 70s crochet catalog. Um, and I also just kind of love how the graphics look like middle fingers. I thought that was pretty fun. Uh, this is definitely more of a second layer kind of thing because the stitches are not very tight, but still pretty fun. And our last pair of shorts are these granny square looking shorts by Olivia Tully on YouTube. And it looks like the pattern is inspired by Marv's New York crochet granny square shorts. These also will require another layer underneath it looks like, but they would be super cute for the beach. I personally want to find a yarn that's more of like swimsuit material and make some kind of board shorts this summer. Because I am not wearing bikini bottoms <laughs> this summer. I am tired of that. Okay, this next pattern doesn't have to be shorts. They are technically a pants pattern by Knit Crow Addict. I personally really love that just under the knee length. I don't know why people hate capris so much, but I love like, is it shorts? Is it pants? It's neither. <laughs> I really love that. If you do want a full pants, I did find this universal, sh universal, <laughs> universal, shell crochet pants pattern on shariapattern.com, which again is mesh. And I like the low waist construction. I feel like these low waist mesh pants with like a bolero as the top and like a bucket hat and some chunky sunglasses. Hi, bunny. All right, that is it for the bottoms. I wanna take a quick dip into accessory category. Hi. Hello. This beginner friendly crochet market tote pattern by the Loophole Fox. I feel like tote bags in general are very androgynous, gender neutral. And I just picked this pattern because of the color block and it looks pretty fast to work up. And then I also have three hats to show you. So I don't know why my voice is leaving me. We all know and love a bucket hat. I'm sure you can find a lot of bucket hat patterns that are fun to follow, but I picked this more trendy checkerboard bucket hat look. The possibilities are endless for bucket hats, but if bucket hats aren't your thing, because I know they're crazy popular right now and it's hard to find anything else, I also found... I didn't realize I had the audio on. This fedora sun hat by Make and Do Crew, which is giving more of like adventurer, cowboy, yacht grandma kind of style, <laughs> depending on how you style it. I think that would be a really fun silhouette for summer. And it's free. I'm pretty sure this is a free pattern. And the last hat pattern is this free granny square crochet beret, which just uses Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is super cheap and very accessible. And it's just so fun. I feel like berets are having a little moment right now. Maybe I'm just watching too much Beep World. Uh, <laughs> but this is super cute lightweight hat for the summer. Okay, moving on to our last category, which is sets and dresses. 
because I feel like a lot of androgynous clothing is just masculine clothing because the default is masculine for a lot of things and then things that differ become feminine. So there's so many styles that are like feminine only and then everything else is by default masculine or feminine or fe feminine. <laughs> I won't get into my rants right now. But anyway, anyone can wear dresses and these are some ones that I thought were very androgynous and fun and very gender to me. <laughs> and big surprise, they're mostly mesh. This first link, I pinned it for one specific beach cover-up, but there's actually a few on this list that I really like. This first one is the Beach Days cover-up by the Turtle Trunk. And it is a cover-up, but I just really like the way it drapes as a dress or as a fun, funky layer on top of like jeans and a t-shirt or something. And then there's also the Sandy Shore cover-up by Mary P, which it's really cool because it has a little hood, which I think is so fun because hoodies are great and you can't wear them in the summer. So once again, another fun layer to throw on top of either your bathing suit or just a cute summer outfit. And then this is the one I actually pinned, which is the Corona Beach Coverall by Tasha Mar Margett. Pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like those uh, fishnet looking bags that oranges come in with a little tie that you can just kind of cinch your waist or just let it flow free. This next one is a TikTok tutorial by Skylar Haney. Just a simple mesh tank dress that is very beginner friendly. Speaking of mesh dresses, because what did I say? What did I say? This is the jarring, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that, uh, crochet dress. And once again, it's mesh. I really like the bordering by the sleeves and the little slit that you can add. And what I love most about this pattern actually is that it also comes with a glove pattern to go with it, which is so cool. I think that's so trendy right now. The gloves look super breathable and summer friendly and it's just such a fun addition to your summer look. So good, this one is so good. This next one is an Etsy pattern by Caroline Zuschlag. It's a mesh dress yet again, but this one is catered to be worked with mohair, which I know is an interesting choice for summer, but I feel like mohair is so lightweight that this is just super cute. I really like the way she styled it over just like a black tank top and yoga pants or black jeans. I can't really tell what she's wearing or just over a regular outfit. If you have like a fun artsy indoor event to attend, this is so cute. And the last thing I have to show you, I found four pins on Pinterest that are like very androgynous summer crochet complete set vibes, but I could not find the pattern. I think they are either like designer or fast fashion items, but I still wanted to show you just for inspiration, so don't go anywhere. This is a Kind Hearts crochet shirt and pants set by Maury and Eve, which is super fun. You could make this with the patterns that I just showed you. This one, there is literally no information on this pin, <laughs> but you could recreate this with one of the short patterns I just showed you and making a matching bralette to go with whatever you made. This is another just shorts and collared shirt combo, which is what I will be wearing all summer. I love the white and the green too. And then this one is just super fun. It's mesh, it's colorful, it's beachy. It combines everything that I want this summer. I think we need to make this the summer of crocheting wacky stuff or just finding really basic gender, gender <laughs> really basic gender neutral pieces to crochet and just styling them in super fun, expressive ways. And I'm really excited to find more possibilities for summer dressing because it's so hard. Once again, the Pinterest link is below. And if I find more patterns, I will add them to it. So feel free to follow this board. And also, if you want to stick around for a quick announcement, I was planning on making a Discord server for this channel when we hit 5,000 subscribers. And as I'm filming this, we are only 10 away, which means by the time this video comes out, we will probably be at that threshold. 
if you would be interested in joining a Discord server that is a safe space for LGBTQ plus and neurodivergent folks where we can talk crochet and style and all kinds of fun stuff. Either subscribe so we can hit that 5k if we're not there already, or the link to join will be in the description and on my channel page. So if you make anything from this list, you better join and you better show us. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but that would be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, drink some water, eat a snack, have a very gender summer, and I will see you next week. <laughs>